Children at a Doncaster school have been told they won't be having any more lessons until next year after a fire devastated the building. Fire crews were called to Camps Mount Technology College early yesterday morning. At its height, more than 60 firefighters tackled the blaze. Well, Charlotte Leeming joins us now from Doncaster. Yes, Claire, let's take a quick look at these pictures. Millions of pounds worth of damage to the Camps Mount Technology College, which tore through these buildings in the early hours of Sunday morning, taking brand new computer classrooms, the kitchen, the dining halls, another hall, and also destroying the GCSE coursework for hundreds of pupils who come to this college. Well, earlier I spoke to some Year 11 pupils. They told me they're devastated. It's proper guttering because it's like all our work and coursework and everything just like gone. It is proper shocking. It's like even coursework we only finished on Friday, like Spanish with Finland. It's not even got sent off, it's just for waste, it's all gone. It's unreal, you can't believe that it's happened to our school, especially not like at this time of year. I'm joined now by the head teacher here, Andy Sprakes. Andy, I mean, you must be absolutely devastated. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, to stand here now and see the damage and the kind of damage uh, that the school has suffered is, is heartbreaking, really. What's really struck me, though, being here this morning is the community spirit because everybody wants to get the place up and, and running again. Absolutely. I, I'm not surprised by that at all. I mean, we've got a fantastic community and the school is, is highly valued by that community. So I, I'm not surprised that we've had such overwhelming support really from from every every sector of the community uh, we're organizing now uh, as we speak classes hopefully before the end of, of this week for some sixth form students and we're looking at uh, using community facilities and spaces for the new year as well so it, it has been quite remarkable really the response and, and I'm absolutely grateful for that and Andy early days but any idea how the fire started here no there, there's no indications as yet as to how it, it started I know that the uh, the fire crews and their forensic teams are looking at that at the moment, but uh, it will be unwise of me to comment on that at this stage. Well, Andy, as you say, you know, sort of out of here, but certainly not feeling down. And Andy has given us an email site address. Any information about the school, you go to www.ctcmail. All the official information about the future of the school. Back to you. Charles in Doncaster. Thank you for that.